Greetings, and welcome to my channel, View From My Desktop. Here at View From My Desktop, we'd like to show options for affordable hi-fi equipment that sounds nice and is at a budget price. So let's get started. I did a video not too long ago when I talked about a conversation between me and a friend of mine, and we talked about getting the vinyl, and I mentioned how I went to a place called... Uh, squeeze box and picked up a couple things and I had a, a turntable that I hadn't used in a while. This turntable is probably, I mean, I'm sure it's over 20 years old. This is a Pioneer PL450. This, I had a turntable that was a pretty good turn, a little bit better than this. Uh, well, uh, better than this one, and something happened, uh, you know, lost that one, and um, I picked this up at a, I think at a show, for, I mean, it, it wasn't much, but it played okay, it's, you know, nice platter, uh, I think it's called a P-mount, I think it's this style, Files here, um, but anyway, um, and it's semi-automatic, so you have to set the needle on it. But once it gets to the end, it will lift up, go back over to its cradle, and shut off. So this is a semi-automatic. Um, you can get turntables that are fully automatic, where like have a button, you push to someone on the outside. You have your album in here you push the button the needle will the arm will lift up move the needle over to the uh, record play it when it gets to the end lift it up move back over sit on the cradle and set it down and there are some you have to sit it on the cradle when it gets to the end you have to go and pick it up and or use the uh the little handle here lift thing here and move it back to his cradle. But anyway, um, so I got this here, pulled this turntable out, and it wouldn't, like I said in, in, in the other video, it wouldn't play. It wouldn't turn at all. Took it to a place called You Break, I Fix, and um, they said the, uh, I think the power supply or something was bad. And for it was a it was it wasn't too much. It was a, a reasonable price, I believe. They put a new transformer or something in there, and it was spinning. I took it home, and it sounded terrible. So I uh, I had to change the needle. The needle on here probably got banged up and moving and things like that over the years. So I replaced the needle. And then it was playing too fast, and it had the little the little screw inside here used to adjust the speed. And uh, I, you know, I adjust the speed, and it was working. But it was I tested out on an amplifier that had a phono preamp, but that. Amplifier also already has a turntable connected to it. So um, I needed to connect this to one of my other amplifiers and my D class amplifier. So I did another I did another review when I tested out a few uh, budget uh, not tested out a few budget phono preamps and um, for various reasons, I didn't pick any of those. And then I tried some more. I think all in all, I tried about maybe half a dozen different phone preamps. And I wound up getting this one. This is the Pile uh, Phono Preamp. Um, there was two versions. This one has an on and off switch. So I can... The, uh, a couple I tried did not have on and off switches. 
It sounded okay, but they didn't have an on and off switch. Um, and there was some that had a volume for the phono preamp and a volume for the a gain for the phono preamp and a volume for the uh, headphones. But this also has a plug for your headphones. And the one that I tried out, um, the, the sound was very low and the headphone volume almost didn't work at all. It, you, could, you had to turn it all the way up and then it would finally make some sound. Um, uh, the only downside of this one is the, the volume on the headphone is coming out it's pretty loud. You have to have some uh, headphones that you can adjust the volume on. Uh, but these are uh, this one this one does it. I'm not a headphone I'm not really a headphone guy and I have a few things that have headphones on so uh, this one worked the um, pile you know I, I may try another one that has the volume with the headphone I don't know but I don't I don't I don't really need one I have I have another tube phono preamp. Um, it's on my main system. This is for, you know, my, now some people might call things um, startup devices and things like that. That I don't I don't consider things startup. For I, I've been playing more vinyl lately, but. In, if if you're not really into vinyl, but you want to have a phono preamp so you can play, maybe a, you may have a vintage turntable, and you you know you upgraded your system to some uh, you know Class D or any type of uh, amplifier, but it may not have a phono preamp. And you just want something to, to connect your turntable to your system. This is what you need. You can buy some that costs hundreds of hundreds of dollars. And if you want to upgrade, you know, maybe upgrade your turntable. Uh, you can get some that comes with a phono preamp, but. If you're just looking to upgrade your system, you're not, you know, everybody who's like music is not looking to have a system that costs five thousand dollars. This turntable, I doubt if I pay fifty dollars for it. To get a turntable in this market that is semi-automatic, just what would turn the the um, arm back to its cradle is probably going to cost you at least $200. And if you already have a turntable and you play vinyl occasionally and it may have a, a needle about the level of this you could spend $30 for this and you have a you can play your turntable on the occasion that you want to play it. And you may never need to buy another. This is your phono preamp. This is not your starter. This is not your starter phono preamp. This is your phono preamp. If later on you decide to upgrade, then you decide to upgrade. But you don't have to upgrade. Um, for someone like myself or some people that may be into vinyl a little bit more, you may want to get a better one. One that I have a one where you can has an auxiliary plug, you can plug something else into it. It's a tube phono preamp. You know, you may not that's not for everybody. This is not a startup. This is a phono preamp. It does the job. You know, if you have a turntable like this, this is not, if you see uh, vintage turntables and you want to 
pick up a vintage turntable. You know, there's a place like Squeezebox where they sell vintage uh, equipment. And you could pick up something from there. And you don't have to have, you can buy something that, you know, costs maybe less than $100, or maybe a little over $100. You don't have to have a turntable that costs thousands of dollars to listen to vinyl. If you listen to it all the time and that's what you're into, that's your hobby, that is fine. And I believe me, I do understand. I do have some equipment that costs a couple of dollars. I do have some equipment that costs a couple of dollars. And I have equipment like this, and I use this equipment also. This turntable is plugged up to this preamp. And I play it. And that's that works fine for me. And I, I believe that works fine for a lot of people. You know, um, everything is not a starter because it's affordable or it's budget. You know, if you if you want to get something that, you know, uh, I, I'm going to just say this here. When I first got into this channel, one of the things I did, I looked on Amazon. And... For instance, turntables. I looked on Amazon and looked at the 100 most frequently bought turntables. Over half of them were under $100. Maybe on this level or below. Everyone is not buying a $300 turntable or a $500 turntable or a turntable that costs a couple thousand dollars. Or they're not buying it from Amazon. You know, um, or, you know, Best Buys or someplace. You know, so, you know, you can have decent sounding equipment at a budget price. That's not to say that, like I said, my phono preamp with the tubes sounds better than this. Does this sound nice? Yes. But the turntable that it's hooked up to has a better cartridge than this. If I really needed to upgrade, I would just simply buy a better turntable. If that's what I wanted to do. But I play music on this turntable and I'm happy with it. You know, I, I don't I don't listen to music. I don't listen to music and try to see if I can hear any mistakes. Uh, I see if I can hear where the amplifier doesn't sound right or something. I listen to music to enjoy. If I could put a turn, if I could put a record on this thing and play it and I enjoy it, then I'm fine. I play music to enjoy it. I analyze equipment because I have equipment and some equipment, there is some equipment that is bad. That, you know, there is some equipment that is bad. Like I said, there were a number of these that I tried out that I didn't like. So, I tried this one and this one I like. This one I think plays good. So I do a review and I say this one sounds good. And that's what I, I'm trying to do on this channel, show equipment that sounds. So if you have a vintage turntable and you have one of these modern, because when I was when I bought this turntable, 
almost any amplifier you was going to buy was going to have a phono preamp when I bought this turntable over 20 years ago. Now most amplifiers do not have a phono, a built-in phono preamp. You may have to buy one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So uh, I'm going to do a, a video of the phono preamp with the tubes in it. Um, you know, so thanks for watching. Peace.